skipping a grade, there is a system where a child can receive appropriate learning according to the stage of development. Several surveys were conducted measuring the satisfaction level of the children who skipped grades. In one survey, 71% of the children who skipped were satisfied, and most of the children who said they were dissatisfied said it was because they wanted to skip to a higher grade. There was also the opinion that there was a problem with social development, but at present, there is no evidence that skipping grades adversely affects social development. Awesome! My hair is perfect! Maybe add a touch of lip gloss. Hey, Sarah! You're gonna be late! Get a move on! Yeah, I'm coming! I'm Sarah, a high school student. I heard that your teacher has been ill and he's going to retire or something. Is that true? Yeah, that's what I hear. A sub is gonna take over from today, apparently. Huh? What sort of teacher is a substitute? Uh, he always seems fidgety and not someone you can always rely on. The only image I have of him is that he's always getting ridiculed in class. Huh? Ridiculed? Not too inspiring. Can he really take over? From today, I will be taking over this class and I would... Can't hear a darn thing, teach. Speak up! Hey, coach, you're here is getting irritated. You're the new sub, so come on, get on with it. Boy, oh boy, is this guy gonna be okay? Doesn't seem like it. Well, he doesn't seem like a bad teacher, but no spunk, that's for sure. I realize that you are all worried, and so, I would like to announce that a new full-time teacher will be taking over from today. What, a new teacher? Again? Yeah, it's that system where the smart ones get to skip grades. Who doesn't know that? Sheesh. So, our new teacher is the first of his kind. The first teacher who had skipped several grades, and the first assigned to this class. Huh? Who is this guy? I can certainly understand your bewilderment. <laughs> hey, teach. And how old is this new teacher? Maybe it would be better if he himself would introduce himself. Okay. Please, we're all ready for you. This is your new teacher. I'm already here, sir. Uh, huh? Oh, hey. So you are... Uh, sorry about that. I'm pleased to meet you all. Okay, then. Uh, let's get started. I'm going to pass out Mr. Motoboshi's profile and educational background. Huh? He's just a kid! Hmm, just as I thought. I'm gonna enjoy this. My name is Motoboshi. I took the university entrance exam at 4, and by 5, I already got my teacher's license. I'm doing this so that the system of skipping grades is more thoroughly accepted in current society. The best way to do this was to become a school teacher. My number one desire was to apply to an all-girls high school. I simply wanted to get acquainted with as many high school girls as I could. So, how do I go about making them adore me? Uh, Mr. Motobushi, you seem to be, how can I say, licking your chops. Oh yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> and so begins our school year with our new five-year-old teacher, Mr. Moroboshi. He's not assigned just one subject but will be full-time, which means he will need to interact with each and every student. What's gonna happen with this class? Okay, what happened to the career objective applications? We already submitted those with the previous teacher. Hmm, that's strange. No mention of it here. Do you mind submitting them again? Huh? What a hassle. Uh, sorry, but without it, I can't do the interviews. <laughs> hey, come on! Boshi, please don't cry! Well, once the class began, the poor kid could not hack it. Unbelievable! He's supposed to be our teacher. Why the hell is he crying? Man, seriously, kinda creepy. With one word from our class leader, Yuri, we all decided to meet up at a local family restaurant. Yuri is very popular. She's a good-looking girl, and what's more, she's got charisma. But I have to say, it was kind of fun watching the previous teacher get all flustered. Sure wish we could do that again! To be honest, I really have respect for Yuri. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, he's really cute, but to just give our precious high school life over to a little kid? I don't know. Yeah, and if we screw up our college exams, it's gonna be his fault. We're all gonna have to put our heads together and do something about it. Yeah, yeah we got, got, got that, that right. right. We can't be bullying a kid, so we're gonna have to help him out. Everyone agreed with Yuri on that point. What we need is a new teacher, and so begins our fiendish plot. Mr. Motoboshi hasn't finished his breakfast yet, so on his behalf, I would like to take over his homeroom duties today. Excuse me, we have a comment to make. Yes, go ahead. What is it? We think Mr. Moroboshi is not up to being our main teacher. We are facing college exams next year. Our future depends on us doing well, and with a teacher like that, how are we supposed to study? I'm sorry to say this, 
but we demand that you assign us a more dependable teacher. We deserve that much after all the hard work we put in. Yuri, I have here a letter from Mr. Motobushi. Huh? Yuri took one look at the letter and froze. Hey, Yuri, what's up? Seriously? I always thought that. My parents and all the adults around me said it was impossible. And to just give up. It's a free pass to a studio when it says he will introduce me to a music teacher. Is this for real? Yuri, it's too early for you to give up on your dreams. It's a dream that you've kept secret. I want you to confide in me whenever you want. Mr. Morboshi. Yuri, I'm counting on you. Thanks for your help. Could you move me a little to the right? Yeah, that's it. No problem. So after that, well, our leader Yuri was swept off her feet by Mr. Moroboshi. During math class, Yuri would lift Mr. Moroboshi up to the blackboard. She has apparently taken on this job on a regular basis. Ever since she became Sarah's teacher, her grades have really improved. I really appreciate it. It was not only Yuri that was enthralled by Mr. Moroboshi, even during the teacher-parent meetings, but he was also able to captivate the parents. What's the difference? Aren't we gonna do a little teacher trashing like we used to? This is no fun. My frustration with the current situation grew worse and worse. Mr. Moroboshi, do you have anything you want us to do? Hmm, let me think. No, nothing right now. Come on, don't be shy. Anything. Okay then, could you cuddle me? It really calms me down. It feels good. So cute! Oh, Mr. Moroboshi, that lewd face is showing again. Yeah? <laughs> Sorry, my students are all so wholesome and innocent. By researching various topics in my free time, I found that I can easily solve all their concerns. Just as with Yuri, they begin to open up to me. Mr. Morboshi, I got a perfect score on my math exam. A little gratitude, please. Well done, Yuri. Oh my god, that's super! Teach, I brought you some juice. Open up, I'll serve it to you. Teach, I just want to cuddle you to death. You're so cute. Hey, everyone, I bought a mattress. Let's all take a short nap. What do you say? The girls even prepared a mattress during the lunch break and had me take a nap. Uh huh? Is this even allowed? You do realize that you are a teacher. And besides the fact that you are a regular teacher, you are in fact a five-year-old child. Yeah, so go ahead and snuggle up to us. We'll spoil you rotten. This is great. I can't stand this. This is unbearable. Okay, maybe I'll ask that favor right about now. There is something that I need to know as your full-time teacher. I need to know each of your weak points. Oh, stop it! That tickles! <laughs> Please, not there! I can't take that! <laughs> oh my god! If the other teachers witness this, I hate to think how they would react. This is not happening! I can't believe this! I'm sick of this crap! Students aren't supposed to get friendly with the teacher! I'm gonna bash him like we did the previous teacher! He'll never be able to come back here again! Are you so sick of it that you would do that? Huh? Let's talk a little about it. What do you say? I was well acquainted with your previous teacher. Huh? You knew her? She is a really nice woman. When she called to say she became a full-time teacher, well, she was overjoyed. When I heard she had fallen ill, I visited her. And when I saw her face, she had aged considerably. Ah, uh, so you have a bone to pick with us then? <laughs> yes, of course, I do. But although her students treated her with disdain, she still remained loyal to them and worried about them constantly. She said it was her fault that she created such an environment and regrets her actions. That got me curious as to why she's willing to continue as a teacher, despite the bashing she endured. Oh yeah, is that right? And as I began to know my students, I realized that they harbored various problems. I was able to spot these problems right away with most students. But with you, Sarah, I had no idea what would open up your feelings, your inner secrets. There was no problem with your mother and father. There were no obvious concerns. You were able to keep up with your studies. That's why I... I researched your background way back when you were in junior high. So, you were hounded by these three guys. Am I right? Don't worry. I destroyed all the photos they had of you. Back in junior high. Hey, Seda. Come on. Let's have a little fun. I already plan on meeting a friend later. What? Giving us the brush off, huh? So, you don't care if we distribute those embarrassing photos, huh? Oh yeah, all your friends would suddenly say bye-bye. <laughs> uh, are you serious? Yes, it's taken care of. Mr. Moroboshi! After that encounter, 
I joined the others in their obsession with Mr. Moroboshi. Sometimes he was super strict, and other times kind and considerate. Overall, we had fun, even on our school trips. Then one day, Mr. Moroboshi, what's that photo? This? Here, take a look. It was a photo of our previous teacher, the one we had bashed relentlessly. She was pictured happily posing with her students. So, she was able to get back to teaching. Yeah, it was hard for her at first, but she eventually succeeded. I want to apologize to her. If I write a letter, would you deliver it to her? Of course. And everybody else says they want to write one too. Then the day of Mr. Moroboshi's last day as her teacher finally came to pass. I'm a mediocre student unlike all of you. There are a lot of smart people around me. And from tomorrow, I will probably encounter more problems. But truth be told, I'm actually looking forward to it as we face our dreams. I have come to believe in your future potential. From this day forward, I believe that all your dreams will become reality. It is your dream, Mr. Morboshi. Even if I told you, you probably won't believe me. Huh? Yes, we would. There is something I was lying to all of you about. What is it? Actually, I'm not five years old. <laughs> Just kidding. Not that I feel safe and secure when cuddled, but... I believe that it's the best way to get closer and more intimate with all of you. So, I guess I did use my age as a ruse to lure you guys in. Huh? Is that it? I thought you were gonna say you got abducted by aliens and they shrunk you or something. <laughs> Actually, I was super happy to cuddle you. A five-year-old kid tried so hard for us, we couldn't just ignore that. Right, girls? Yeah, we will never ever forget you, Mr. Moroboshi. That was one hectic class, but it was fun. Now, what shall I try next? 